Let us now take the first model from this topic of set theory where we shall discuss a one mark question. As we have discussed earlier, generally when two sets are given to us where there is some overlapping between the sets, we can use the formula that is total equals to a plus b minus both a and b plus none of a and b to get the required answer. So let's look at this example and see how can we get the answer. The question here is in a class of 120 students, 70 students passed in English, 80 students passed in Hindi and 40 students passed in both English and Hindi. How many students failed in both the subjects? So as you can see here total number of students are 120 out of which 70 students passed in English and 80 students passed in Hindi. So the two sets we have here are English and Hindi. One set represents the number of students who have passed in English. The other set represents the number of students who have passed in Hindi. And remember friends, the question says 70 students passed in English. This doesn't mean that 70 students have passed only in English. Out of these 70, there can be some students who have passed in English as well as Hindi. Similarly, here it says 80 students passed in Hindi. So it doesn't mean that these 80 have passed only in Hindi. Out of these 80, there can be some students who have passed in Hindi as well as English. And then it says 40 students passed in both English and Hindi. So 40 is the number of students who have passed in both English as well as Hindi. How many students failed in both the subjects is the question. Now try to understand how many students failed in both the subjects means the number of students who have passed in none of the subjects. So here we need to find out how many of them have passed in none of these subjects. Instead of taking it as how many have failed in both the subjects, let's understand this is nothing but passed in none of the subjects. Passed in none of the subjects. So whether we say failed in both the subjects or passed in none of the subjects, it means the same. So we need to find out what is the none category here. Now there are two ways to solve this question. Either we can use the simple formula that we have discussed or we can go by Venn diagrams. Now going by the formula, we know that total should be equal to A plus B minus both AB plus none AB, none of A and B. This is both A and B. Now simply by substituting the values here, we can get the required answer. We know that A is the first category. Let us take it as English and B is the second category that is Hindi. So let's substitute the values. We know that total number of students are 120. So we can say that 120 is equal to A. That is num nothing but number of students passed in English given as 70 plus B which is number of students passed in Hindi given as 80 minus both AB. Both AB is nothing but number of students who have passed in both Hindi as well as English which is given as 40 plus none students who have passed in none of these subjects that has to be calculated. Now by simplifying this we get the required answer. So 70 plus 80 is 150 minus 40 is 110. So none can be taken as 120 minus 110 which is equal to 10. So we can say that 10 students have failed in both the subjects. 10 students failed in both the subjects. So that's the answer. So simply with the application of this formula we can find out whatever is required. Total should be equal to A plus B minus both AB plus none of A and B. Remember A here is the complete set A, B is the complete set B. It is not only A and only B, it is simply A and B. Now the alternate solution for this question can be done with the help of Venn diagrams. This is with the application of the formula but if we try to go by Venn diagrams we know that there is a universal set. Now here the universal set is nothing but the total number of students that is 120. So the total can be taken as 120 which is the universal set. And here we have two different subsets that is one subset is students passed in English and the other subset is students passed in Hindi. And as given in the question, 40 students have passed in both the subjects. So there will be some overlapping between these subsets. So let us try to take English and Hindi with the help of small circles here. So the first circle here is for English and the second one is for Hindi. Remember this complete circle is what? The number of students who have passed in English. And this complete circle is number of students who have passed in Hindi. And the intersection region is that region which shows number of students passed in both English and Hindi. And apart from these two circles, the left out area represents those students who have passed neither in English nor in, Hindi, nor in Hindi. As you can see, it is outside both the circles, outside both the subsets. So very clearly, this region is that region which shows number of students who have failed in both the subjects. Now by filling up the values in these four regions, we can get the required answer. 
Now let's see how to work on Venn diagrams to get the answer here. So first of all, we know that universal set is total set 120 and we have got two subsets. Now remember friends, whenever we fill the values in these four regions, we know that the four regions here are A, B, C and D. A is like students who have passed only in English. B is the students who have passed both English and Hindi. C is the students who have passed only in Hindi. And D represents the students who have passed in none of these subjects. So how many students have passed in English? A plus B. How many students have passed only in English? That is A. But because we are talking about only English, so it should be taken as A. Likewise, number of students passed in Hindi, B plus C. It takes the complete circle. But number of students who have passed only in Hindi should be only this region, that is C. Students who have passed in both the subjects, B. And students who have failed in both the subjects, D. Now, whenever we fill the values in these regions, first of all, we need to fill that region which is overlapped by maximum number of subsets. Now, as you can see here, B is the region which shows the overlapping part overlapping of English with Hindi. So first of all, we need to know what is the value of B. Until and unless we know what is this region, we cannot fill the remaining parts. And clearly in the question it says 40 students passed in both English and Hindi. So we can say that B is equal to 40. So this region is 40. Now if we try to go back, we know that 70 students passed in English. That means this complete circle A plus B is equal to 70. From the question, we know that directly B is equal to 40 and A plus B is equal to 70. So if A plus B equals to 70, we can say that A will be equal to 30. Why? Because B is 40. So A plus 40 is 70, A gives us 30. So I can say that students who have passed only in English is 30. Likewise, we know that 80 students passed in Hindi. How many students have passed in Hindi from the Venn diagram? B plus C. So B plus C is equal to 80. So from this we can say C will be equal to 80 minus B. 80 minus 40 is 40. So C equals to 40. That means 40 is the number of students who have passed only in Hindi. How many students pass in Hindi? 40 plus 40, 80. Only Hindi, 40. How many students pass in English? 30 plus 40, 70. How many students pass only in English? Only 30. That is how we look at it. Now, total is 120 out of which already 3 regions have been filled. 30, 40 and 40. So remaining value should go for D. We know that 30 plus 40 is 70, 70 plus 40 is 110. So if this region is equivalent to 110, left out should be 10. Why? Because total is equal to 120. So we can say that D will be equal to 10. So the number of students who have passed in none of these subjects or number of students who have failed in both the subjects will be equal to 10. So either we can go by the concept of Venn diagrams or we can use this simple equation, substitute the values and get the required answer. As you can see in both the cases our answer is 10. The other types of questions that can be asked here are how many students passed only in English? Only English is 30. How many students passed only in Hindi? Only Hindi is 40. Or how many students have passed exactly in one subject? How many students passed exactly in one subject? 30 plus 40. 70 will be the answer. Exactly one subject means it should either be English or it should be Hindi. So 30 plus 40, 70 will be the answer. How many students passed in more than one subject? More than one subject is 40. More than one subject here can be only two subjects. So that should be taken as 40. Suppose the question says how many students pass in at least one subject? At least one subject means it can be one subject or both the subjects. So we should take answer as 30 plus 40 plus 40 which is equal to 110. So depending on the question, we can find out the answer from the Venn diagram. But when the question is asked for 5 marks, where we have 3 different sets like maths, physics, chemistry or hockey, football and cricket. There, it is always suggested that we follow the Venn diagram. Why? Because this gives the answer much faster. So we again try to take 3 subsets with the help of 3 circles and the universal set is taken as a rectangle. And then just try to fill the values. Remember one important point, whenever we go for Venn diagrams, we first of all have to fill the region which is overlapped by maximum number of sets and then we have to move outwards. So this is how you can get the answers for such simple questions using Venn diagrams or the formula.